Wildman Coaches Roundtable. I'm Ed Cody. To my right, the Swami George Abraham. To my left, the Tiger Albert Campman. Under Spotlight, high school hockey, Pennsylvania Interscholastic Hockey League, Penguins Cup Championship 3A, Pine Ridge and 3, North Allegheny 2, Pine Ridge and goalie, Brett Suter stopped 27 shots. NA finishes season 16, 5, and 2. State Championship, Pennsylvania Cup, Class 3A champions, Pine Richland 5, LaSalle College 4 in overtime, and a wow. goal by A.G. Verzilla. Josh Lanyard had the hat trick, and he had the tying goal with 137 left to play. It's a fourth state title for Pine Richland. They finish the season 19, 4, and 1. Girls Wrestling Pittsburgh Tribune review the All-Stars. Uh, Miranda Lejevic, I hope I get her name right. I apologize if I don't. Knock Jr., 100 pounds. Her record was 31 and 12. She placed third in the PIAA. Anna Malovich of Butler, 118 pounds. Her record 18 and 1. WPL Championship, second PIAA. Lena Rumpler of North Allegheny, a senior, 155 pounds. She had a 35-2 and two record, 102 career victories for her. She was the WPL champ and second in the PIAA. In softball, knock pitcher Marley Frazier. She went five innings and a one-hitter and struck out 14. Carissa Turkley had three hits in the ninth, the nothing win over Hackettstown, New Jersey. That's a long trip Is for Hackettstown. I'm, I'm assuming they came to knock. Yeah, I I thought maybe they played in the middle somewhere. Maybe, possibly, maybe I, some well, I was thinking they played it down south. As, and, uh, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, yeah. where they I, both, I, I, I didn't know, get I, that information. Uh, you know, when I said right. middle, I meant, you know, they both traveled. Mm -hmm. Hey, look out. She's back. And just a junior, Seneca Valley pitcher, Lexi Hames, four perfect innings, 11 Ks, and 11 to nothing win over Moon. Anna Kalkowski and uh, Bev Miller. A three RBIs each. Seneca Valley off to a three and zero start. Butler pitcher. Cal oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Yeah. That's about the shortest thing there is. Oh no, a girls softball pitcher who is healthy. That that's how dominant that she's position, dominant. Dominant that position is in sports. No, I, I could you be know. wrong. I thought she lived the uphill and struck out slash. Should we leave again? As a sophomore, <laughs> and Butler pitcher Kelsey Ogen. She had fifteen Ks and a one hit, eleven nothing win over Kiski. She went six innings. Uh, Lily Vicari had three hits, and Maddie Wolf had three RBI. Abby, uh, Abby Dejitas of Freeport went four for four. Pitcher Sidney Selker, a one hitter, 11 0 win, 11 uh, 1 win over Apollo Ridge. And Selker, she's been around for a while, mm -hmm. and so has uh, Dejitas. And boys of the cross, Butler 4 and 0. Oh, they're averaging 20 goals per game. They've scored 82 goals in four games. Jake Stevens had seven and Aiden Davis three in an 18 to 5 win over Indiana. Davis scored eight goals in a 17 to 2 win over Knock. And an amateur boxing Cubs boxer, Leland Anderson, 227 pounds. He won the Pittsburgh Golden Gloves uh, class super heavyweight championship, the junior division. Uh, Cubs boxing, by the way, will be June the twenty second. We look forward. To, we should see him there. Absolutely. Th this this kid's a big, strong kid, six yeah. foot two, twenty yeah, seven. Big guy. He's on the track team too. He throws shot. There you go. Uh, high school girls basketball. Portersville Christian girls won the National Christian Schools Athletic Association D one national title. It's their fifth title in the last six years at various classifications. The Warriors finished the season twenty six and six. And senior point guard Isabel Green out of Slippery Rock, she averaged 18 points per game. She was ma named league MVP for the second straight year. They've had a good program there. Excellent program. Yeah, George and I used to work out kids there. And uh, uh, the guys have some decent teams, but the girls have been even better. And uh, congratulations to the Aliquippa boys, 2A PIAA. Uh, champions and the football team will go be going to the Big Ten and now basketball <laughs> be going to the ACC. Four starters. Uh, it's just amazing what they do. Huh? Four starters are yeah. football players. Just tremendous. Yeah, anyway. And congratulations to the Blackhawk girls, 4A PIAA champs. After they lost to North Catholic, they went on defeated, undefeated Wyoming, missing, and, and then up. and and then and then win a state championship. Great comeback for them. Yeah, Greg Houston, his first year coaching, came from Beaver, 14 years there, and inherited some really good players. And this is their, what, fourth state title? Yeah, and his daughter was there, so he had to make a decision, should I coach my daughter? And he said, I'm going to do it. Uh, high school track boys, Wilmington Relays, the Slip Rock High School boys, 
uh, shuttle hurdle team uh, set a with a time of one minute three point three seconds, set a school record and a new meet record. That team comprised of Josh Tustin, Jesse Gehring, uh, Eli Anderson, and Levi Prementine. What's Prementine and Anderson? They've been there for about ten years, I think. Yeah, when you got those two, just, you got those, those two, two guys. guys they, they, they're pretty good. Yes. Yeah, every sport, I think they're involved Absolutely. in. Hey, in college wrestling. You've heard this name before, Seneca Valley grad. Star wrestler Dylan Chapel, 149 pounds. He's a, he was a three-time WPL champion. Now a redshirt sophomore at Bucknell. He was second in a conference uh, tournament, and now he qualifies for the D1 Nationals. Boy, they had some outstanding wrestlers come out of Seneca Valley. Yeah, I watched the uh, wrestling this this oh. past week, and uh, you've been really good to compete. Oh my I mean, there's no oh, question. Outstanding. You know what's interesting? <clears throat> you got these Penn State guys. They're just. So dominant. It's but they won another Big Ten championship. They won a national. national. He set the record, most points. But what's amazing, and out of nowhere, there will be a guy from Cornell. Yeah. The only guy there. Very, very, very I, tough. I think that's, what, 10 or 11 national championships oh, yeah. for Penn State. Oh, no. They, that's the greatest hire in, in sports. Yeah. yeah. Sanderson, the, the yeah. wrestling coach. And yes. They, 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 they were just the average. They were <laughs> He comes in. He's got four or five turning out. out. And now is the most dominant yeah, yeah. program. It took over and superseded Iowa. Which yes, one they have. Time was yes, they have. Out. Yeah. Hey, boys, high school volleyball, post-gazette preseason rankings in 3A. Shaler, the defending WPL champs, they won their first championship last year. They swept NA 3 to nothing. NA's second. Seneca Valley third. Norwin fourth. Penn Trafford fifth. It's going to be a battle again with those three. Shaler has eight starters back from last year, and North Allegheny has six. Six and two A, North Catholic number one, Mars number two, Latrobe three, Seat LaSalle four, Thomas Jefferson five, Mars led by six five basketball star Ryan Check and six four Derek Piatek, uh, North Catholic led by Lucas Gunther. There's some great volleyball coming up here. Yeah, what we've said previously, we'll continue to say, uh, volleyball has become a, a big time sport around here with size. I'm telling you, 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 you go to a match, you're thinking 6'6", six, 6'5", six, 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 and then the setters are tremendous. It's just great sport around here. And we enjoy it. Ho hopefully, maybe we mm -hmm. can squeeze a game in here. Hey, let's go to our, our stories of the week. You know, it, it's been a long, long time. Like, uh, you never talk about Duquesne capturing no. the hearts and minds of the uh, fans in Pittsburgh and the area. So, for the last two weeks, it wasn't the Steelers, Pence, Pirates, or Pitt. It was all about... Duquesne capturing the imagination of the city of Pittsburgh. Uh, they won their first uh, NCAA game in 55 years with a 71-67 win over BYU. <coughs> However, the Cinderella story ended with an 89-63 loss to powerful Illinois. Dukes finished 25-12, and second most wins in school history. Coach Keith Dambrot retires after seven years of Duquesne with a 116-97 record. You look at Illinois, guys that watched the game. You you guys watched it. Talk about big. All three guards are 6'6". Six, six. They play five power forwards. I heard the coach talking yesterday. And they're ball handling oh. and shooting. How'd they lose eight games is what I want to know. They <laughs> lost to AL. They lost to Penn State one night. Up nine with under 40 seconds. The one that they played at Rec Hall. Yeah, and Shannon he never lost. That. Shannon, Shannon was out a couple games. He was out a couple right, games, he, but but still, oh, he's terrific. Um, there's some really good teams out yeah. there, but the Illinois is really one of the top offensive teams. They can score. Yeah. Yes, uh, Shannon uh, had 30 points, and uh, Marcus Domash had 22. The Illini shot a blistering 59 percent from the floor. And going back to the Dukes, our local team, uh, they uh, we said on the show before they changed midstream. They said, we're going to get the ball to the guards and score with the guards, and we're going to defend like crazy and keep the score in the 50s and 60s. The recipe worked completely. Yes. You get LeBron uh, paying the bills. Now you get his teammate in there, and he starts giving them some NIL money. They can sustain it. Uh, that's a good point. And Duquesne, uh, their leading scorer, Day Day Grant, he was held to just seven points. Great defense by the Illini. Jimmy Clark, the third, he had 14 points. Uh, Duquesne, a great year. Uh, one big shining moment for them. It was just exciting. They won nine straight, won the ACC tournament. So is this the start of more good seasons to come? 
I hope it's not a one-year wonder. It'll depend on the NIL no. and the portal. You know, they're not, they're, you're not going to get a lot of high school players from this area. That's, they're, they're going well, there. the Atlantic 10, they called them in yeah. about eight, nine years ago, and they said, look, either invest or get out. Now, do you hire Drew Joyce? Absolutely. The, the, the assistant head Absolutely. coach, associate head coach. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying he's the best guy. Why he's going to be hired is LeBron. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah that's right. That's, that's why. He's great friends with LeBron. I'm sure there's a certain amount of pressure on AD Dave Harper to do just that. It's going to happen. Uh, if, if he, Let's put how shocked when LeBron speaks. Yeah, usually he and he's yeah. going to back his opinion up with NIL that's his, money. That's his former high school teammate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. More March Madness. Oakland stuns Kentucky and John Calipari, 80 to 76. The Golden Grizzlies, Jake Golke, poured in 32 points on 10 three pointers. He played last year at Hillsdale Division II school. It just goes to show you, we said it before, yeah. you don't go up to see Slippery Rock play in <laughs> Edinburgh and East uh -huh. You're missing some great players <laughs> yes. who are capable of well, making that move to the Division guy, I. Well, those two guys that left Pitt the other day. Somebody said Federico, the, Federico, and, and Jeffers, the kid from here, he's Jeffers. Yeah. And somebody said to me about where he's going. And I thought to myself, you know, am I positive he would be a star D two? I'm not. I'm not saying he won't be. Right. But I'd have to see because you didn't see much of him a bit. And, and also in, in the area, get to the women in a second here. Uh, uh, Gannon's women, they're thirty five and two. Just right? got Number upset. Not upset. Just did got they beat, get beat in overtime. Yeah. They, 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 they got beaten overtime. Yeah. He's great. Great. So they had a great them. year. Oh, oh the boys and girls. Yeah. Oh, oh yes. yeah. yeah. That young Fee did a fabulous <clears throat> job up there. Not not great, Maron. Kentucky twenty three and ten. They're just not a good defensive yeah. team. And in recent years, they've just been average, really. Not, not the powerhouse they were when not who Kentucky first, supposed to be. Not who Kentucky yes, supposed to be. And what, what Calipari built them to be early on. So I don't know. He, he doesn't do the one and dones anymore. Uh, he's sticking with the younger players uh, I don't know who are lasting, but it, it's just not there. His, his game day stuff is what this kid's running loose after he makes the first six. You think you ought to be like knocking them down or something? Well, then North Carolina State uh, came back uh, against Oakland to win 79-73 in overtime. There's a Cinderella story for you for sure with uh, North Carolina State. They had the ball with the last shot. Oakland had the ball with the last shot. That's that one half told me something about even though the guy tipped it, the ball came off the passer's hand. What a load that burns. <laughs> the coach is going to get fired. The coach is going to didn't do this. Yeah. He, oh, yeah. He was getting fired. Well, about, they, they now, were, now his contract is for another three years. Well, they were like 14 and 12 when they yes. went on their run. Mm -hmm. Hey, he, uh, is that guy at Oakland? <clears throat> Pardon me? The guy at Oakland? 40 years. 40 years. <clears throat> Imagine there was no three ball when he started. Yes. Think about that. He's had to make that adjustment. Like Bill yeah. Warren. <laughs> <laughs> Yale stunts Auburn 78 76, and then San Diego State put a whipping on oh, Yale 85 to 57. Purdue 106, Utah State 67. That was a surprise. Zach Eady, 30 points, 21 rebounds. And here's what I like about him. He's very unselfish in this way. He gets the ball. If he doesn't feel it's right, he kicks it back outside and sets up those three-point shooters. Yeah, he's, he's he's done that in the past, and they missed him. <laughs> you know, he had the yeah, good, good, point. Yeah, good shooting point. guard. Purdue's, Purdue's loaded up with some more shooters yes. now. Uh, back to uh, – we're talking about Cal Perry. Yeah. yeah. But Bruce Pearl deserves the most – yeah. I picked them when the national champ. They just won the SEC tournament and get uh, knocked out by Yale. Yeah. Now, you would think, okay, Yale's pretty good. San Diego State beat them. That's a the good word. Yeah. By, yeah, 30, yeah. Beat them by 28. Yes. Murder. Hey, uh, uh, Gonzaga, 89, Kansas, 68, and Houston, 100, Texas A&M, 95. Oh, I watched that game. Let me say this. They won despite what I'm going to call dumb basketball. You're, you're up by 12 with three minutes a game. You're supposed to be milking that clock. They fouled Texas A&M players one after the other, sending them to the line, stopping the clock. And here's my pet peeve. Why do you try and block a three-point shot attempt? It happens er er every leave time. Leave your feet. You it, can't it, leave it, your feet. Yeah. You're just supposed to put your, your hand in Albert, your face. Albert, I was talking the other day. Here's the other thing. They're the worst foul shooters in the world. <laughs> but they don't put anybody in the lane. I just I'm watching that game and I'm I'm going what what's coach doing for Houston? These players they must have fouled twenty times in the last three minutes with the lead and, and, and with just the lead. with the lead and, and they should have been slowing it down, milking the clock. I, I just, they won despite stupid basketball. I have I'm sorry, a big smile on my face because the so-called great coaches yeah 
stink. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've watched oh. the game. I'll call George and just see what they just did. No, Bill did Self. you see what they just Bill, did? Now, Bill Self, if he doesn't have five McDonald's all Every Americans, year. he doesn't want to coach. He was like, uh, uh, uh. Yes. coach your yeah. players, he coach. He doesn't know what to do, though. I, 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 I just don't understand. <laughs> and he threw the ball backwards. So listen. <laughs> he did it. Listen, three seconds left. Up three. Yeah. He has the ball on the side. If he throws it to the other end, he wins. He can't. That's where he threw it. But under outside. their hoop. He got lucky. I, mean, I don't know about you yeah. guys. I, I don't know the last time I saw a three-point uh, shot attempt block. No. Not when? Good, no. Uh, You're not and, supposed to. That's why. And, and then uh, for Houston to commit that late in the game uh, was – I know. They shouldn't have won that game. I know. Buzzy had him thinking. Hey, a Sweet 16 coming up in the East Regional. I've not watched UConn play. They go against San Diego Iowa State. Washington. Oh, jeez. Awesome. They the best? Easily. I Iowa State versus Illinois. Ooh. Iowa State favored by two and a half. That's the best game. So yeah, a tremendous game. You don't, you over Purdue and Gonzaga? Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. a better game. Both teams. All right. How about Iowa State defense crazily? Yeah. yeah. Illinois scores crazily. That's going to be well, interesting. Gonna be interesting. Absolutely. And then the South region, Regional, you have Houston against uh, Duke. Houston has rebounded from that terrible tournament game where the Iowa State held them to 40 what, 41 points. points. Absolutely. And Marquette, North Carolina State, an, an understated game. Could be yeah. a very, very good one. And then the West Regional, it's uh, North Carolina and Alabama, Arizona, and Clemson. <coughs> and the Midwest, Purdue and Gonzaga. Tennessee and Creighton. I like Creighton. Well, the seeds. The Creighton. seeds have yeah. all come to the top this yeah. year. All the ones, you know? all the twos, and two of the threes uh -huh. are in. Hey, West Virginia, which finished 9-22, and their worst year in ever, maybe. They hired Drake coach uh, Darian DeVries. Uh, he led Drake to six straight 20-win uh, seasons. He'll bring along his star player, <laughs> his son, Tucker. Let me ask you, two. That's important. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm being honest. Yeah. What do you think that – Wait, as far Everything. as... Everything. Mean, so that's why I started you, laughing. I mean, you really do. Oh, dude, yeah. definitely okay. do. I yeah. don't know. You, he's, he's, brought a, he's brought a star in. I just brought yeah, a player in. Good. Yeah, yeah he's good. Yeah, he's honorable <laughs> mention All-American. Yeah, so you bring a star in immediately. That brings three more players uh, in. Some more to follow. Yes. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> okay. yeah. Some more to follow. In the Big 12, a little different, though. Yeah. Hey, in, in the uh, women's game, Albany 2, uh, uh, second round, Iowa uh, defeated West Virginia 64 to 54. Uh, but I, the Mountaineers gave Iowa all they could handle, forcing 16 turnovers. Clark was the difference. She finished with 32 points in her final home game. Uh, great effort by West Virginia. They finished 25 and 8. Iowa moves on 31 and 4 against Colorado, but they better play a lot better controlling the basketball than he did against West Virginia. I've never seen an outcry after the game saying a team got. Cheated, right? I just told them when I, they said totally. I just told them that West Virginia got no, no. They didn't. Have, they didn't. Say, they said the word. They yeah, said no. cheated. cheated. They didn't. Did you they, see what the thirty to five? Thirty three. Did you see the last five minutes? Yeah, fifteen. You know. <laughs> wow. And she pushes all night too. I mean, I get carried. You know, I get carried out of there. <laughs> she's on this every yeah. play. What she make? Uh, ten straight foul shots. Oh no, the she game. don't foul her. They don't foul her because no. she's not going to miss. And the other follow up on this that I have to say. Yeah. Everybody's all, all over Angel Reese, and I understand that she's, she makes all kind of bad decisions. But this girl is yelling F you on the floor. Yeah, Guess right. what? Tell they have her arm around her saying, yeah. Oh, uh, Miss Kayla Clark. Yeah. Is, she a telling the West is she a wonderful Virginia, girl? Hey, telling the West Virginia fans to shut the F up. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. read her. Uh, terrible. So they don't call her out. No. But if that game's at West Virginia, they're, they're, they lose. Yeah. They lose that game. But they played a sloppy See, game. See, they can't, fill, they can't fill stadiums without a home team. That's the issue. Yeah, yeah and they she, had a big crowd there. Oh, Sell out crowd. Yeah, yeah, they were scalping. Well, they're smart that way. Yeah. They're smart. Yeah. They're, they're, they're I, don't, I don't know much about Colorado's uh, uh, team, but if, if Iowa plays sloppy basketball like they did against West Virginia, they're not getting into the Final Four. Yeah, that's the truth. Uh, now, when, when you put a hot dog on a grill and it's done, you're a big griller. What do we do when it's done? <laughs> You put a fork in it, that, don't that, you? That, that, that fire blows up my I face. Know you're talking about <laughs> you, you put, put a fork on that grill. in it. Well, on a grill and done are the pens. Put a fork in them. <clears throat> they blew a 4 to nothing lead to lose 5-4 in overtime to Colorado. Crosby had four points, his 34th goal. The Pens 3-10 and won their last 11 games. They're now 30-30 and 10 with 12 to play. Uh, it, the, the Pens are old and slow. And listen, against New Jersey, it's evident 
New Jersey's beaten them seven straight times. They just blow by them on the ice. So uh, GM Kyle Dubas, he has his work cut out for him, and he's going to have to start rebuilding this team from the bottom up, but it's not going to happen overnight. Hard times are coming. Penguin fans, I know you're spoiled. It's coming, but this this has been coming. This you been asked coming. Me, you asked me a month and a half ago, could the Penguins make? And I told you straight out. Remember, they're not making it this year. No, nope. I just watch them play. Matt, our producer, I like to call him out because he's a big big Penguin fan. He has more. He has high hopes every year. Matt's a positive thing. I had high but even hopes Matt struggled year. saying, I don't think they're going to make it. When I, I listen to him. When he says it, usually it comes true. You know, I, I, I've used this comparison before. A great, as great as Chuck Noll was, he couldn't part ways with Joe Green and L.C. Mm-hmm. Greenman and Franco when they got older, and he couldn't rebuild fast enough. And the same thing's happening here. It, uh, I, I know you could criticize Belichick all you want. He, he got rid of guys a year or two before they started to go downhill. If you're going to continue winning, you better do it. That's all you. You, that, you yes. can't let emotions get in the uh, way. Um, now the uh, Pirates open the season at Miami. Mitch Keller to start. Jared Triolo is, is the starter at second base. He's the biggest second baseman in Pirate history. Six three two ten. I like him. I like the way he plays. He can also pl- fill in at third base if you if you need him. So let's go, guys. With the over and under, it is what George. 74 and a half. All right. Over. 75 and a half or 74. You keep changing uh, well, off to find yeah. out. <laughs> it yeah. makes a difference. All right. I need to know that number. What do you see happening? <clears throat> Most well, first sport- of all, I think it's a mistake what they did there. Yeah. Also, I'll rise right off the bat. <clears throat> Just to make, they make, take them long to make a mistake. The Garrow should have been starting second base, and Trio's the best utility man in, in the league. He's a guy I could play. Okay. One first. Well, if they put him in right, second, they, they, brought, they kept Williams, who's a minor league player it's, it's, they, they always make mistakes okay. with their decisions well I, I i like it you don't that's that's fine uh now l- let me say this let's go over and under i'm, I'm going to say they're going to win 79 games perfect what do give you give it have? to us fine we'll take, 79. Like it? Yeah, we'll take 76 they won no, 76 no, no, i no, really no, think closer no, to now they're ranked they're, uh, most <laughs> i've looked at most magazines and that the, the, the experts rate them last in their division the surging team because they went out and Got three starting pitchers, spent a ton of money. The Cardinals always right. happens. They always, you know, yeah. So happen. they're going to go from last to possibly winning the division with those starters, and and Even then on the Reds, and and the Reds, and and then you get the switch in in managers or the Cubs manager uh, from the Brewers. Uh, yeah, the Milwaukee manager goes to the the Cubs. That tells you, he, that tells he thinks the Cubs better than the Brewers. <laughs> yeah. That's what that's what yeah. he thinks. They got rid of Burns there. Milwaukee really on paper. Looks like they're tearing down. Yeah, they're, yeah. Yes, they're going to play yeah, the They're other tearing way. down. And remember, they don't play each other as much anymore. Hey, hey uh, about, the, before we go on, the Pirates, they have to get skeins up there. I, I, Albert, I've can. said that from day one. What can you why, say? Why, why wouldn't you? He spent five oh, no. years pitching in college <laughs> baseball. Right. Why wouldn't you bring him up, make him your fifth starter? He should be. He's, he'll fifth be their starter. second starter. Well, I, I would just say ease him in at first. I got hey, you. Ease him in. You know, the, the year control, we know all that. Yeah. Do you think there's anything to the fact if he were a player, he would play 55 games in two months, but since he's a pitcher, he would only pitch nine? I know there's something to it. You think yeah. there's something to yeah. that? Yeah. Yes. Hey, uh, the other news in baseball, uh, Shohei Otani's interpreter fired after allegations of illegal gambling and embezzlement, embezzlement of Otani's money. Otani cooperating in the investigation says he knew nothing about the gambling. This will be interesting. I, you I, have to have camp money to not miss $5 million. Let's uh, be honest. Uh, I, I right? Guess, yeah. I, I, hey, George, I, what, did, uh, what did Lone Ranger say that... Uh, yeah, four times. Four t- there's four yeah. times. It was taunt. There's four uh, times. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you, right. you would think he wouldn't be foolish enough to do that, Otani. You, no, you, he, he's four times in this uh, one. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. Wait a minute. He's Here's not going to speak English, is he, George? No, he's no. not going to speak. He English. probably he's when he's sitting around. He goes, you know, they don't think I can speak oh. English. <laughs> you know, you know, you know what? It, it, he signed what a six hundred or seven hundred million. Seven hundred million. You imagine to have that contract no. voided? Well, th- this is oh the, my one of the stupidest things. They oh. they are. They got their ducks in a row all weekend. Obviously, he had that meeting yesterday. All he did with the guy read off the paper. The truth of the matter is, it would destroy the game. No, absolutely, absolutely. Much of a what you would call a figure for the sport. Yes, 
All right, brace yourself. NFL rule changes. Yeah. And first of all, the, the uh, uh, tush push is going to stay. Yeah. But they're going to heavily penalize that hip drop tackle. I, I don't know how they're going to do it. It, it. it happened so fast. Oh my God. And now oh, this, God. this. Explain this, that to me again, Eddie. I, I, yeah. The hip drop tackle. Hip drop tackle. Yeah. I, I, oh, my God. I, 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 oh. First time I've heard this one. Okay. Yeah. You, know, <laughs> you know how fast the speed of that game is? Yes. Even a high school There's game. There's no chance. So. You're the ball. I'm coming to the tackle. I gotta say, we're not. We're don't drop him. Like, no, can't I, pull him down. Don't don't pull, don't pull him down. Don't hit him. Don't drag him. Hit, don't hit his oh, hip. Don't, oh my was, god! My glass. Hey, Eddie, our but, glass are no, right no, no, next no. to each other. But here's the what? best part. Here's the <laughs> best part. But it, the best part is they say it's safety, but they're going to add an 18th game. That's yeah, the yeah. best part. And the players. Oh. I don't want to hear the players complain because they signed up for it. <laughs> hip drop. Now, now hip this drop. here here comes the insanity. This new kickoff rule. Yeah. A 21 from the XFL, 21 players in the receiving area. Right. The kicker at his own 35. He can't cross midfield till the ball's in play. All the other 10 players of the kick team line up the receiving team's 40, five on each side. Yep. Forget about an onside kick. You have the to re- tell. Yeah. <laughs> right. Wait. Wait. You're not allowed to onside kick till the no. fourth quarter. You have to say, we're onside <laughs> kicking. That ought to work real good. The, re- the receiving team, the the receiving team now at its own 35. Seven players must be on the 35. They must have a foot there. The kicking team can't advance till the ball either hits the field of play <laughs> or is returned. There's a lot more. I don't even want to deal with it. It Please. is nuts. Wow. It is nuts. Well, how about this? You're borrowing from a league that failed six times. Yeah. So now when, when someone does return it and he gets a concussion, what are they going to do? I, I told you. Didn't I say last year, eventually, there'll be no kickoffs? Yeah. yeah that's what it's, that's a, that should have been the answer. Yeah. Be they should have called us and said, what's the answer? Be done. Don't kick off. Yeah. <laughs> what's the first Play thing? Lay them on the 25. Wait, let's wait go. a minute. When a guy returns a kickoff, what's the first thing? The Penalty. <laughs> no flags or flag. Uh, the days of Gal Sire. No, Gal Sire is gone. Oli Matson. Let's, let's watch Madsen. those hip drop tackles. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stay tuned. That's it for us. We'll see you next time. Armstrong has been a part of Butler County for over 60 years. We've run hundreds of miles of high-speed fiber, and we're not stopping. Your internet, television, and telephone connectivity is backed by a team of local technicians who are backed by their local office, who is backed by our 24-7 network operations team, as well as our 24-7 customer service center. Can the other guys say that? We didn't think so. Armstrong. Unmatched employees. Unmatched technology. Unmatched fiber network. EXP Stream is the best way to get all your TV in one place. Miss the beginning of a program or forgot to record? Look for the start over icon and restart it up to 72 hours later. EXP Stream from Armstrong. Streaming solved.